Hello, I would like to showcase my camera controls and get a few feedbacks today. So first of all, this camera is designed to work without you ever actually pressing any camera buttons. So if you see me walk up here, the camera will automatically align with Mario. Or if you see me like, let's say I'm right here and I'm walking into the wall, the camera will move out of the way of the wall. But if this bothers you, you can just turn it off. So now the camera no longer does that and you'll have to use the C buttons to control it. The C buttons have also been changed slightly. C left and C right are a bit snappier. They have one frame less delay than in the vanilla and they move faster. C up does this, so this might help you with like tight platforming. And C down does this, which, you know, it lets you look further into the distance. And maybe this helps you get a better view of the level. You also have the R button to center the camera behind Mario. Personally, I actually prefer having auto rated on because whenever you press a C button like this, the auto rotate turns off for a little bit. But then as soon as you align the camera of Mario like this, which is something players are going to do a lot if you walk forward, it turns back on, which I find very natural. Uh, this way it never turns on unexpectedly. And if you ever need a special camera setup to control your Mario, it is just going to work. Right, it lets you set up angles pretty e easily. Then that covers like 95% of use cases. But the last 5% you might need a bit more fine control. So for example, we have D-pad left and D-pad right, which lets you do fine adjustments. Um, this is useful, for example, if you're like here and you want to do like a very tight wall kick. You could do this, this, and then slightly adjust the camera back. Right, and now we have a wall kick angle here. Uh, you can also hold D-pad left and D-pad right for like a smooth rotation, which is what I imagine a lot of casual players or players that are used to modern Mario games are going to use. And we have, you know, just because we have two buttons left, D-pad up, D-pad down, pretty useless feature, but it lets you zoom in and zoom out. Maybe it's good for taking pictures. I like to use this for, for thumbnails, like, oh, that's a nice thumbnail. Maybe like this. <laughs> and um, yeah, I had to move the first person mode to the L button. But since you're only going to use first person when you're standing still anyway, I don't think this is a big deal. You're going to have to reach over the controller and press the L button, but I mean, who cares? You're standing still anyway. So let me know what you think.